Forgive an old woman, but I forgot your name. What was it again? Would you mind getting my book from the sleeping quarters? It would spare my bones the trip. It's called Great Voyages. Thank you very much. I've read this old book many times. Seems I find something new each read. And no matter how many times I've read it, it never fails to get me excited for adventure. Are you the adventuring type? Ah, after my own heart. I've had a lifetime of it, believe it or not. If you're sticking around in East Shade, Maybe I'll tell you all about it sometime. Captain Elona told me we'll be landing in Lindo shortly. I think we're all antsy to arrive. I've never been to East Shed. I've heard wonderful things about it. Did you know that the people there used to cover their mouths with garments? I've heard that since gone out of style. Quite a strange fashion fad if you ask me. As long as Ishe doesn't rock like this ship, I will love it. It's the quaint little seaside town we'll be landing in. It's one of the many gems of the country I hear. <sighs> Almost there. That did not sound good. You've woken. Do you remember what happened? I'm glad your memory's intact. You washed up on this beach just a short while after the ship sank. One doesn't last long in water this cold. From what I've heard, you were the only passenger misplaced during the wreck. The others are safe in town. East Shade, of course. Specifically, my home. I usually don't take visitors, but in this case I can hardly blame you for floating in unannounced. Only your easel. Don't forget to take it when you leave. Even the frigid tide couldn't bring you to part from it. It must mean a great deal to you. I was about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. 
It's just up the path. On your way, though. I was about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. It's just up the path. On your way, though.
a newcomer. In the future, if you're ever in need of carriage to Nava, I'm your driver. My ox is strong, no? on the ship. What happened to you? Oh, thank goodness. We thought you were lost. Oh, what a horrible experience. I'm so glad to see you're safe. What brought you to Eastshade anyway? Very adventurous of you. I came to visit my family. You look like you could use a nice cup of tea. This flavor is a bit strong for some people, but the effects can be lifted with a sip of water from your water skin. Our captain is in a terrible state. I suppose that's to be expected. Mm, she won't even leave the dock. Perhaps it would console her to know that we all survived. You should speak with her. My family lives here in Lindo, so I'll be staying with them. If you find that night is coming and you're in need of a place to stay, you should check the inn. You'll be comfortable there. It gets cold around here at night. You shouldn't be out without a proper coat. Oh yes, I saw that from the ship. It looked as if there was a light coming from inside. Could it be a lighthouse? After that wreck, I may just settle down here for a while. Are you wondering about anything else? I'm a bird!
great viewpoint, isn't it? You must be the traveler from the wrecked ship. Oh, good. Ingolf needs some visitors every now and then. I wish he would spend more time in town, but he'd rather be alone. Yes, I run the inn. I always keep a full stock of soup and tea to refresh weary travelers. When I was young, I traveled all over this island. I'd love to adventure again one day. Look, the eclipse is starting. Not a bad show, right? Ha! You couldn't get me out on the oceans for anything. And especially not in a rickety wooden ship. If you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. Drop in at your leisure. Don't worry about payment. Shipwreck survivors stay free of charge. Oh, by the way... I know of someone who would very much enjoy meeting you. She's an avid painter and very excited about her work. She's still working on some things, and I bet she'd love to hear a tip from a professional. She usually hangs out near the inn. Take care now. Are you an artist? Hey, you have an easel! Are you an artist? So am I! Do you want to see what I made? Look! It took all day. But I want to make my next one even better. What should I do? But I don't know how to make a canvas. All right! You're a nice artist after all. I know where some boards are. Follow me. Did you see when it ran a reef? I've never seen anything like that. Terrible waste of a good ship. And it went down so quickly. It's amazing anyway. Now we just need the fabric. I don't know where to find that. Maybe we should ask someone. Let's keep going. Watch your step there. Lots of moving boxes around here. You looking a little waterlogged. Guessing you just came in off of that ship. Think you even got some seaweed hanging from your ear. Yeah, we all have those days, right? I mean, uh, my dad got in a shipwreck once. He wasn't as lucky as you, though. <laughs> oh, no, he's, he's, he's fine. Just lost his leg is all. Now he gets to order us around even more. So, you'll probably be exploring all over, right? Would you do me a huge favor? My brother loves raspberry-filled pastries. Loves them. He can't get enough, but raspberries don't grow here. So, he puts in an overseas order every two weeks. It's crazy, really. Now, the thing he hates is grape-filled 
pastries. I, I mean, we all hate him, obviously, but he hates him even more. He'd destroy them all if he could, you know? He once saw an old lady eating some and he grabbed the box and threw it in the ocean. It was the craziest thing. Okay, so what I did was fill his raspberry pastry bag with, uh, <laughs> grape pastries. Can you imagine what he's gonna do when he eats one? <laughs> He'll go insane! <laughs> he's always suspicious of me doing something like this, though, so it would be perfect if you could play along and act like you're a uh, delivery person. So, what do you say? Will you deliver them to him? Perfect! You gotta play the part, though. Really make him think they're raspberry pastries. <laughs> This'll be great. Here, take these. My brother lives over in Nava, so I'll meet you there in a few days, eh? I'll probably be near the bakery. You just come find me, and I'll point my brother out to you. So we have everything we need now, right? We can make a canvas from this stuff? Could you paint something? I want to watch a real artist. loves art so much. Hey, Miss Nika loves art like us. She always likes my paintings. I bet she'd like yours too. She really likes the eclipse. You should draw her that. <laughs> <laughs> 